National Museum of Women in Art. And we're at the presentation within A Dream But Not Yours, Contemporary Art from Turkey. We're together with Jordana Pomeroy, and she really supported a lot in this exhibition. She's a creator of the museum. Jordana, will you tell a couple of words what you think about this exhibition? Well, we're thrilled to work with um, Esra Saragadik, who was uh, the curator of the show, but the real thrill for me was to work with the embassy here. Um, and your former um, wife of the former ambassador came to us with this idea of uh, putting on an exhibition of contemporary Turkish art. And I knew nothing about it, but they gave us a fabulous selection of curators and we chose Esra. And so it's been a tremendous collaboration between us and the embassy and Akbank and Esra. And it's, it's really worked out very well. Wonderful. Will you tell us about the museum, how uh, it become the home for the artists, women artists? Well, we are 22 years old and we have, um, in fact, right now celebrated this year with a fantastic installation of public art on New York Avenue. Um, and um, our founders, Mr. and Mrs. Holiday, uh, created this museum with the idea that there should be a place for women artists alone. Uh, and to this date, we're really the best known only uh, museum, art museum, dedicated to showing art by women. So what do you suggest to the artists, how they can exhibit their shows in your museum? Uh, well, we have, a, it's quite a process actually. We have, um, uh, there are a lot of our, uh, exhibitions that we would like to organize in-house in and there are a lot of artists and uh, exhibitions that travel around and we know that we want them for the museum. Um, we build up our, we've built up our collection through donations primarily uh, and we target certain artists that we know that we, that would contribute to the collection and are within our collecting trajectory. Wonderful, and you have a membership? We have a, a very large membership and uh, it's international at this point. Um, it's one of the largest museum mem art museum memberships in the United States. Um, I think the cause is still very, very strong and valid. And the members receive uh, magazines. We have a lot of different levels of membership. But yes, we have very strong members. Wonderful. So artists, you know that this museum is a very good place to show your exhibit, your, your art, and be member. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much for that promote. I really appreciate it. <laughs>
dream but not yours. Why did you name the exhibition? Well, it started actually with the kind of cliches that we are surrounded with. Um, all the cliches that we are seeing on the televisions and um, newspapers and uh, everywhere. Um, the, the life, the da daily life that we are living in, that there are always uh, these commercials that suggesting us, imposing us that um, the kind of dream worlds like everybody should get one of those beautiful houses or beautiful cars or even washing machine and so on. But then individuals are slightly losing their own dreams. So that was the actually starting point, thinking of are these really our dreams and where are our dreams and how can we um, make the statement of them. So that was the starting point. Okay, let's talk about this dream. What do you think the artist tried to explain in this frame? Well, this work is called Republican. So actually, um, this woman that artist Leila Gedis uh, painted here, actually it's, it's stencil, uh, it's not painting. It was her uh, teacher at the primary school. So she was very uh, strong, and um, uh, and very powerful teacher that uh, the artist was kind of adoring her teacher and she was one of those republican women in turkey that she was adoring and she just want to uh, make her stencil in a kind of you can see that it's kind of reminding us che guevara but it's not so it became like an idol for republic you are the creator of this uh, exhibition, but I know that you are an artist at the same time. Will you please tell us about a little bit of your background? Well, you are very kind. I've never been an artist. I studied art. Um, I have art education. I studied at the Mimar Sinan Fine Art University at the Sculpture Department. But I never be become an artist. Uh, I decide that um, I like to work with the ideas and work with the artists under certain concept and bringing all this fantastic work together, but I don't think I'm an artist, at least not at the moment. <laughs> well, uh, you're promoting artists and you're doing a wonderful job promoting your own country and the women especially, women in art. And thank you so much, especially myself being a Turkish woman. Mm -hmm.